array feeds into that central tower. Maybe that's where we'll find answers. Cutting through this stuff. I wonder if Z would know more about this. Power's out. This place must have been abandoned and forgotten. I guess Z didn't forget. All these years later, and she never gave up on her mission. We can't let her down. door's not budging. Okay, that hurt. Let's find another path. We might be able to help it later. Ugh, that thing sheds. has a big appetite.
now! I need help, bud. Help me, here! Right here, BD. I've never seen tech like this before. And I scrapped some serious machines on Braca.
We've seen this tech before, just not on this scale. Just like Z's chamber. Okay, let's go. That'll do. Crossing that still breathing. All the critters around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either. This will come in handy. Focus.
can't open it. That could be trouble. Or maybe it could lend us a hand. Careful, BD. I don't know what else to say. Seer, I, I, I thought... No, you didn't think. You perceived a threat and reacted. If the Order had reacted faster, we'd still have a Republic. The Empire, the Haxine brood, half the galaxy wants us dead. Yes. <laughs> the odds are against us. But they will always be against us. Cal, you can't fight your way out of some situations. Now this is more my speed.
Find out. I'm guessing Z might know about this. Toss it here. Let's stop for a moment. Did the trick. Let's move. <laughs> Wonder how long they were stuck in this stuff. Looks like that weird matter around here can take on various forms. Let's hope that tower at the top of the array has some answers.
those couplers look familiar. I think those couplers could hold the orbs we were using. <laughs> I wonder if Z would know more about this. Z's chamber. We're getting close. There's those spy droids again. They're not the only ones interested in the array. We've searched all over the array, buddy. This is our last stop. If the key to Tantalor is real, it has to be here. And if not, maybe Z does have a screw loose. There is only the Force. Okay, I'm ready. That seal looks familiar. This must be where Centauri Kree intended to send Z. The key to Tantalor was sealed away for centuries now. That did it. Sounds like the array is powering up. Time for some answers. Welcome to Tantalor. It's beautiful. Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. 
Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. <laughs> Hard to believe this paradise was hiding on just the other side of the abyss. Come on. I want to show you something. Renowned Jedi Knight Dagingara offers to be my escort on an uncharted world. <laughs> How could I refuse? Without your guidance, I'd never have made it here in one piece. Oh, careful now. Or well, someone might think you've learned humility. strong here it's just as I told you we'll build the temple here yes my thoughts exactly Simply wonderful. Yes, it's perfect. I've seen the galaxy, Santari, and there are many worlds that the light of the Jedi does not reach. I'm going to petition the High Council to train initiates here. On Tanalor. But it can be so challenging to access. What if something were to go wrong? Our temple will be a bastion for the Order. Here at the galactic frontier. The Abyss blocks comm signals. We'll have to invite a member of the Jedi Council to visit in person. Hmm. They've been in there for hours. Council members are not known for their hasty judgments. Especially Master Rancesis. My duel with the Gendai didn't take this long. You won in the end. Be patient. Not one of my strong suits. Well, if you're going to teach younglings, you had better learn. I have faith in you. So does the Council. Trust them to do the right thing. What's wrong? Warn the others. We're under attack. You're not here. You're not supposed to be here. Release me. Please.
Who are you? I saw you. I'm Cal. Cal Kestis. And you must be Dagon Gera. Yes, I am. You are a Jedi? Yes. But things have changed since you've been gone. A Sith Lord corrupted the Republic. Turned it into an empire. They destroyed the Order. They're hunting down those of us that are left. But... You're here now. We can fight them. Together. Return to Tanlor. What happened there? How'd you end up here? We were invaded. I held them at bay as long as I could, but there were too many. The battle was horrific. Still, we weren't beaten. Not yet. Not until the Jedi Council gave the order to abandon Tantalor and then refused to counterattack. They gave up on it? Yes. It was my discovery! My home, and they just expected me to throw it away! Dagon, wait. I refused to obey and was betrayed by the one I trusted most! No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> They betrayed me and forsook Tanlor. That it. <laughs> 
Frightened? I will not be imprisoned again. You dare stand against me? your enemy we're all that's left what happened to you ah oh, ravis i should have known you would honor your oath <laughs> Kriya meant Dagon? How could she entrust Tanalor to someone like him? Tanalor was supposed to bring us closer, but all it did was divide our order. The Council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Even if you yourself have forgotten. She had such faith in him. At least she never had to see him fall to the dark side. Not a bad view, huh, buddy? Wonder if Grease and Boat fixed the Mantis by now. I need to focus. You're new here, yeah? That's right. Got a place you should check out then. There's this guy, a real fishing enthusiast, putting around in a skiff at the base of the mountain. He's near an Imperial camp. Mind seeing if he's all right? Yeah, no problem. Much appreciated. Is real. 
And it may be the last corner of this galaxy that's safe from the Empire. I wish you could have seen it too, BD. We can trade this at Doma's shop. I think we just found our ticket out of here. It won't hurt you. <laughs> you know your way around Kobo, don't you? Grab a lift, Beatty. I bet we can clear that gate with a little boost from our new friend. Sand crawler, you know what that means. Jawas can't be far off. Back to it. Let's go. Looks like the Mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. 
Let's meet him at the landing pad. Let's go, BD. Newcomer. Quality wears 100% guaranteed. Oh, take a look at that. This one. Good choice. Practically had your name on it. Don't be a stranger. Kobo in the High Republic. Good to hear. Say, you might want to talk to Z. Z? Mm-hmm. Droid from the High Republic days. Surely you jest. I do not. And don't call me Shirley. One of our patrons brought her here. Well, uh, this is the find of a century. Two centuries, to be more precise. Oh, hey. It's you. I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal. Also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the Mid-Rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Will do. Cal, I heard about a meditation chamber. You gonna check it out? Oh, I wish. It takes some serious acrobatics to access it, and... <laughs> I could give it a shot, Toa. A shot? This coming from the guy who scales basalt pillars in the time it takes me to date my field journal. <laughs> Happy hunting, you two. Hey. Strangest thing. I was enjoying a lively constitutional earlier today. Really? You? I deserve that. Anyway, I saw the strangest duo putting around the far side of the valley. One was tall and quiet, one short and babbling. They had stopped to inspect some beastly carcass. This had you written all over it. I deserve that. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming. You from the core? Guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watch those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistled by. Real opportunity? 
Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling. What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you'll play its game. Another time. That your ship outside? Yeah. What's it to you? Kinda girl be pleasantly surprised when someone brings some class to this rock. Was that a compliment? Was it? You scrap anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks at the Raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Great to see you. Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the core worlds on Kobo. Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. And the sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. Cal, how do you and Grease meet? I was working on Brock as a scrapper. Grease gave me a lift when I needed it most. The way he tells the story, seems you gave him a lift too. That's so. He never said the words exactly, but when I wanted to turn that back room of yours into storage, <laughs> he threatened to replace me with a gonchroid. People show their affection in strange ways, don't they? Yeah, Monk. I guess they do. Grease and the others are still waiting for you at the landing pad, you know. Let's see what we find up here. Confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. So I was thinking, you head there and check things out, and we split whatever you find 50 50. We'll see, Turtle. Was that your ship that flew by the cantina? That was the Stinger Mantis, all right. Technically, it's Grease's ship. Grease has told me some real tales about that thing. I wouldn't take Grease's stories too seriously. Oh. So I suppose it isn't true that Grease once flew the Mantis into the heart of the Haxian Brood asteroid base? Guns blazing to save you from a death match? Oh, actually, yeah. That happened. Looking good as new. Indeed. That mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. <laughs> I must know, did you locate the key to Tanalor? Uh, 
It's complicated. But we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much, but we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. We've got room for one more? I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. I am very fortunate to have met you, Cal Kestis. I found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got, another holocron? A Jedi, from the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. What happened? He attacked me, escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. Says the Jedi betrayed him and turned to the dark side. Are you okay, kid? Tantalor. It's real grease. It's hidden somewhere in the abyss. Oh, that's impossible. The abyss eats any ship that gets too close. The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody has been able to reach for centuries. If you figured out how to cross the abyss, you could just disappear. Completely. No Bedlam Raiders. No bounty hunters. No Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. Get your feet down. Ah. All right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and then. We don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm, I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Greasy money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, no more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us, for the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! Ah ha! It's about time you paid that lady a visit. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make us some food before we go. When is it ever not bad with you? Stakes were raised, Mosey. The way Zeke was looking at me, with his crazy eyes. I swear if Cal weren't there, I would have been six feet under. Speak of the Gundark, there's your savior. Hey there, Mosey. You stopping to Pyloons often? I check in every now and then. 
Writers like to pick on the helpless. And your ex screams, fight me! I dare you! I double dare you! You two-time and dirty! All right, all right, settle down. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? And always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? A smudge of dirt on your pants, a whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. I call it hunter's eyes. It's a trap game. A hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That uh, right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Talk soon. Cal, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Rooftop garden, huh? That's right. What are you waiting for? It's just up the stairs. Go check it out. Hi, Cal. Barkeep. What can I do for you? What kind of clientele you get here? One dusty prospector after another hoping to strike it rich on old tech or priorite. Sometimes I wonder why I bother. Anyone with real credits to spend leaves Kobo in a hurry. And at least they're less likely to die in here than out there. You should write that on the side of the saloon. And you might want to leave before Grease gets second thoughts. I imagine he's nervous to hop in the pilot seat again. It was good to see you. Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. Okay. You don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Two locked excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays and is always in short supply. Such an art. I know what you are, for what it's worth. Do you now? Sure. The way you carry yourself. That saber on your belt. I won't say anything, of course. Why not? The bounty could be your ticket off-world. And I've already told you enough about my past business to land me in an Imperial intake yard. Guess I'll have to settle for honor among outlaws. Look, I know what it's like to have a losing streak tied around your throat. And I respect anyone who keeps fighting, even when the chips are down. You're a hard man to read, Moran. Then, as they say, I've still got it. See you around, Cal. People were more decisive back in my day. Approval? Gonna go with this one. Cal, you've seen that waterfall near the forest, right? Is that the spot the raiders like to camp out at? Afraid so. There's abominable bullies. 
Why, this gem of a planet ought to be enjoyed by one and all. So our expedition is a no-go? Not unless you want to dodge some blaster fire. Uh, no thanks. Is there anywhere on this planet where one can relax safely with friends? Eh, there's a few radar-free pockets left. But Kobo ain't what it used to be. I'll leave you to your new friends. Catch you later, Cal. Seeing these High Republic ruins with my own eyes... How do you go back to the Academy after that? Not something I expected to hear from a historian. I didn't expect it either. Originally, I couldn't wait to wall myself into a library. Why visit one dig site when you could read about 30, right? So what made you decide to leave? It is hard to describe, but... The more I learned, the more I wanted to get my hands dirty and live it. Not just read about it on a calf-stained terminal, you know? Some other time, okay? See, I still can't believe you were down in the basement for 200 years. Don't you get lonely? Imagine if you were a Not bad, huh, buddy? Conditions are... Perfect for a garden. Let's try planting these seeds we found. Come on, Echo. You're doing great. Let's see if Doma's interested in this. Time to ride, buddy. <clears throat> Garden's still pretty barren. We can definitely improve this.
Good, Neko. So who's this seer we're going to see? A mentor of mine. Rescued me from the Empire on Bracca and dragged me halfway across the galaxy. Sounds like you two went through a lot together. We did. Been a long time since I've seen her. Want to set out? In my experience, you gotta chase a lead when it's hot. How's it feel to be back on the Mantis? Good. Thinking about whipping up some curried burra fish. Kitchen looks in better shape than the rest of the ship, kid. I definitely saw less action since you left. You're telling me. The spice levels haven't moved. Did you cook even one decent meal for yourself these last years? I'm not half the cook you are, Grease. And maybe only three quarters the pilot. Very kind, but the first chance we get, I'm making you a plate of Great Granny Pyloon's Umber Hatch. My favorite. Can't wait. So? We headed to Jetta or what? Ready to work, BD? That should do it. Ready to roll with this. You're all set, BD. New look for you, BD. Same great attitude. Okay. 